and welcome to Webby Sports Roundup. What a week of sport we've had this week. Horse racing, Formula One back in Austria, Rugby League, the Betfred Rugby League Championship. We got Wimbledon and not forgetting the Ashes. Back at Henley this week after two defeats. We're here on the sunny island of Tenerife. If you look behind me, on your left, on my right hand side, you can see La Gomera. On the left of there, your Hero, and behind Purdy Grey Hotel, you'll see La Palma, which is just out the way. A beautiful morning, probably about 24, 25 degrees. It's going to dip in temperature today, which is lovely for all the residents. Right, let's kick on with this week's Sports Roundup Centre. First and foremost, what we got, the Betfred Rugby League, Super League this week, around 17. Wins for top of the table, Catalans, Wakefield, Lee, St. Helens and Wigan. Catalans now from France, a four points in front, top of the table, behind Lee, Wigan and Warrington. They're going to be tough to beat after St. Helens losing to uh, Hull FC 10 days ago. Right, bit of Formula One. With the build-up to the British Grand Prix this weekend at Silverstone, where leader and favourite Verstappen will be probably on ball position, as he has done for the past few uh, few runs. OK, he's got a mean machine, this Red Bull car. He'll be on, probably on pole after cementing another win in Austria last week. Now, he's moving him now to 81 points clear of second place of his rivals and claiming a fifth win in a row. He's going to take some beating. I know Foggy loves him. Absolutely love him. He's not the biggest fan of Lewis Hamilton. Oh, you Foggy. That's for sure. Right. Bit of Wimbledon. This already we've had, what, four days? Started on Monday. Today, Friday. Already been phenomenal, especially for the Brits. Wild card. Brit. Brody ranked over 100, beat the four seed Sea Rood of Norway. What a massive, massive shock on centre court. Well done to that man. Not too sure he gets the next round. That's hopefully he goes all the way. You never know, do you? Women's British number one, Katie Bolton, into the second round. She's going to be flying. I'll tell you, watch this space for the women's, that's for sure. And Andy Murray, 36, former number one of Britain. He's two and up from last night against fifth seed Stefano Tisipiak. All right, unbelievable. <laughs> he was 1-0 down, came back, won the last two sets, and finished, I think, about 10 to 11 last night. That is Wimbledon. Now we know. Right, the Ashes. We lost the first two after a bit of controversy at Lords with Bearstone. Should he? Should he not? Is it fair play? It is what it is. Rules of the game, he was out. It was a big, big problem, it lords. Anyway, let's get that, forget it, out the window. We're heading Lee now. Listen, in heading Lee, Yorkshire, they are something else, those boys, I tell you now. The drinking, the balmy army, phenomenal. Anyway, the latest. After, after Wags's interview, my roaming uh, cricket uh, man, he was brilliant yesterday. Half an hour interview. Loved it. Lots of views. Keep going, my son. He'll be back on in a couple of weeks' time. Right, let's have a look. First day of the third test at Heddening. England. We won the toss. Let's put them in. Let's change it a bit. Got them all out for 263. Marsh, I think he uh, batted five or six. Hit 118. Top score. But our man Wood, who's come in for Anderson, took five wickets. One on Woody. Absolutely superb. In reply, England, all right, 6.30, finished last night, 68 for three. Root and Bearstone, not out. That's all Bearstone, don't do a silly thing as he did. I think he just lost his head, but it is what it is. But it is the Ashes, isn't it? Everybody wants to win the Ashes. But in boxing news for a change, Alexandre Yusik, what an, oh, he used to be cruiserweight, he's moved up to heavyweight, a big, big lump, training really, really hard. I've watched it in the gym on YouTube a few times. Right, has been announced in it to a unified heavyweight title defence will be against Daniel Dubois, British heavyweight boxer in Poland on August the 26th. That'll be one to watch. These big heavyweights, don't forget, one punch, you're gone. Simple as that. So you never know. Come on, the British man. Also, Anthony Joshua, good, bad. Is he a Frank Bruno? 
Who knows? Is he got a bit of a glass chin? Is he going to hit the deck? We don't know. I still think he can do it. He's the next his heavyweight rematch with Dylan White in the O2 in London on August the 12th. It's only around the corner, nine days after my birthday. Yeah, I'm not telling anybody. All right, get me PayPal account. There's my birthday. Right, August the 3rd, 66 I am. Can you believe it? F officially retirement, that is. Right, horse racing. This is what a lot of people listen to. Last week, Golden Rose lost by half a length. Unbelievable. In the Northumberland plate. SP came out 9-2, to two, favourite. But when I gave it, it was between 79-1. to one. So I did say, have a little bit each way on it. If you did, then you had a small profit. I know Ash, you had a few quid on it. Got 7-1. to one, And one or two did mention me. Uh, sent some uh, comments through. And they've won a few quid as well. But we need to get back on the winning trail. We know Lee is a big favourite, man. Again, he's gone for a favourite again. It's the Eclipse. It's his, it's his favourite Pannington. Like he won five on the bounce. Ryan Moore, A.D. O'Brien. It's 11 to 10 for the Eclipse. Stakes, Sandown tomorrow, 3.40 at Sandown. The most improved horse. It's got only three other horses to beat. Get your money on early doors. I think it'll go um, odds on. I love to watch Webby Sports Roundup in Tenerife. Boom. Right, here we go. Bit of football breaking news. Under 21s, the young guns of England were in the final of the under 21s over in Romania and Georgia. That's on Saturday at 5 pm after beating Israel 3 0 in the semi finals on Wednesday. So good luck to the young guns for England. Under 20, bring it home, son. Bring it home. Because the big boys can't, can they? Who knows? Watch this. Uh, what else we got? Breaking news, Mason Mount. You know who's going to go. 40, 45, 50. He's gone for 60 million. I think it's 55 plus 5 mil add-ons. Chelsea to United, midfield, ex-England international. I think he would do really, really well. So again, it's watch this space. Yaka of Arsenal. He's gone to Bayer Leverkusen for 21.4 million. That's a good deal for Arsenal. 30-year-old, because they're bringing Rice in. They've got the man from Arsenal up front for 65. They're spending big, big money. I think about 200 million already. Uh, what else we got? Inter Milan for United. We've got uh, Onana, the Cameroon goalkeeper. Is the gear? Is he finished? Is he on his way? I think he is. Still probably one of the best goalies in the world, but he makes too many mistakes. And you cannot do that now in the Champions League, or you can't do that in the Premier League. Just watch Man City. They're the champions, aren't they? So it's up to the Reds, Chelsea, Liverpool to come fighting for them. Uh, he's 27 years of age, top goalie. They've offered 38.5 and they want 51 million. So I think that'll be probably resolved over the weekend. And last but not least, you knew it was coming, Declan Rice, 105 million. But it's all about bits of money here in there. That's what, it's the agents, they all get involved. And it's put this down, put five mil, put this, get a sell-on clause. That's the problem behind the scenes. I think it's a medical today, and over the weekend, he will be announced in his Arsenal shirt. And we've got lots of Arsenal pals I have here in Kalosovaki. So good luck to Declan Rice. He is, as you all know, one of my favourite, favourite players. Right, last but not least, talk a little bit about the charity. We've got about eight, I think it's about eight items um, on the list in now. If you want to see them, what you've got to do is go to www.timothydowd.com forward slash Webby. Make a bid. There's some phenomenal items. You know they're going to go. They're going to go to FACT, Fighting Against Cancer in Tenerife. They have over 200 volunteers. Fran, who you will see on tomorrow's show, on my football show, she's one of the volunteers. What they do behind the scenes is absolutely nobody's business. They look after all the cancer patients who go from the south to the north. The volunteers take them up, stay with them for two, three, four, five hours, bring them back. They're worth every single penny. So if you've got a few quid, make a bid for some great items. Sports and memorabilia for your son, your daughter, your grandkids. Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan's there. Frankie de Tori is there. Some big, big top stars. And before we go, don't forget, I was talking about doing a sponsored walk in September. It's still going to happen, but there might be one or two little things tweaked. So I've got to get, oh, I've got to jump a couple of fences first. I've been told that we need a permit. So I'm going to go there next week with somebody from Facts. If we don't do a big one, between one in 500, I was looking, I was getting a bit enthusiastic on that. What we might have to do is do a small one. 
uh, September, October, November, December. But we're going to do it. And the longer the better, the more money we get in for fact, the better it is. Okay? Um, so, listen, there's my book. If you like what you hear, and you like what you see, which is the other way around, please subscribe. It's all for free. There's quite a few viewers watching the programmes, but they don't subscribe. It's for free. Press that little button down in that left-hand corner where Tim will put it. Now, I want a big, big shout-out to my man, Tim. He's my bottle washer. He's my... Come on. Director, right. producer, cameraman. That's it. I can never remember. Director, producer, cameraman. He has his own channel, Living With MS in Tenerife. His wife has multiple sclerosis. Had it for a few years, and what he does for this young lady is nobody's business. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, please go on to it. Living with MS in Tenerife. So for me, this week, you've got some more videos coming up. We've got Sean Murphy, West Ham, all his sports memorabilia. That's going to be a cracker. That's for the weekend. Thank you for Wagsy for yesterday. That's on the show now, on my YouTube show. A lot of subscribers and a lot of people have already viewed that. Great, he's done super. He's my roaming cricket reporter. He'll be on again in a couple of weeks' time. But I think he's going back to see the Essex. Uh, they won last night, didn't they, Wagsy? They beat the um, the Birmingham Bears in the in the semi-finals, quarter-finals of the Big Cup. So he's off to Lords next week in front of a massive crowd of 40,000. They'll be there, swallowing, drinking, do whatever they are. So good luck to Essex for that. And Foggy's a big Essex man as well. All right, listen, here we go from me, Webby and... Sunny Tenerife, take care, enjoy the series. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Down for Living With MS in Tenerife, we're here in Kyle Savaki, and we've just done the show, Webby Sports Roundup. See ya, good morning, be ya.